Governments around the world have battled with a continuing problem of rising energy consumption. But in this lab at the U of A, a solution just might be brewing. Yeah, what we're trying to do is to make nanoparticle-based inks, that is materials that we can spray coat or we can roll to roll print like newspapers. Um, we could perhaps make these inks so we could spray them like automotive paint so we can coat very large areas. The ink, made from abundant materials like zinc and phosphorus, is then sandwiched in zinc oxide to create electricity producing cells. This is essentially the, the ink. So what gives it this nice red color is all these tiny, tiny, like 10 nanometer nanoparticles of zinc phosphide that are all there's billions of them in this solution. You just, then you can spray this and you can make nice films. The new substance is both cheap to make and takes far less energy than other solar cells being produced today. This is a mineral. So this is a rock, basically. These right. are rock materials. So when you think about that, these should be stable. They should be solid, mm -hmm. mechanically stable as well. The team has been given funding to start mass producing and hopes it will be widely available within the next decade. If we can make solar panels that would then would only take about two weeks of energy generation in order to make up what was required to manufacture them in the first place, then we'd be in a win-win situation. Is so, that what we're looking at? With and so that, that's what we're trying to do. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Dave Lazzarino.